So we're continuing with um, uh, the AVL uh, generation problem from the previous uh, screencast. And the question um, that um, we'll start um, this screencast with uh, is uh, how many binary trees within nodes are there? And uh, it turns out uh, that there's a mathematical formula that answers that question. Uh, there's a sequence called uh, uh, the Catalan uh, numbers after uh, the 19th century, named after the 19th century Belgian mathematician Eugene uh, Catalan. So uh, this is the formula for the nth Catalan number. It's an infinite sequence. Uh, there's an excellent uh, Wikipedia article on Catalan uh, numbers that you can read about if you want to know their properties. So this is the closed form of the nth Catalan number. And uh, let's um, uh, spell it out. Catalan sequence. It's an infinite sequence. Let's um, write the first few elements of that sequence. 1, 1, 2, then we have 5, then we have 14, 42, 132, 429, and so on. So it grows pretty fast. So the nth Catalan number uh, can be interpreted as uh, uh, the number of uh, binary trees with uh, n nodes. So for n equal equal 1, we have uh, one binary tree. For n equal 2, we have uh, uh, two binary trees. For n equal uh, 3, so three nodes, we have uh, this tree. Then we have this tree. Then we have uh, uh, this tree, and we're talking about uh, purely structural uh, configurations where nodes are empty or you know, set to some dummy number like zero. So the first tree, the second configuration, third configuration, fourth and fifth, and that's this element of the Catalan sequence. Okay, um, let's go and uh, implement um, the generation of uh, AVO trees in Python. AVO tree gen.py I will open it in Emacs get rid of this lower buffer okay well this is a standard uh, binary tree node uh, class it has the data that uh, uh, remember that defaults to zero, parent, left child, right child, and then it has uh, uh, the balance factor slot and the uh, height slot. And the standard uh, set of getters and setters for each member variable. 
nothing unusual here. The parenthesis uh, function uh, takes a binary tree node, which is the root of the tree, and returns a string with a parenthesized representation of the binary tree root that uh, the root uh, empty trees are represented as just the empty string with two matching parentheses left and right. So here's an example. We can run test 0, 1 and test 0, 2. So um, test 0, 1 parenthesizes this tree as follows. So you have 0, then you have uh, 1 uh, as the left uh, child, uh, with uh, and 1 has uh, two empty uh, children, and then so does 2. And then test uh, 0, 2 parenthesized this type of tree. as follows. So remember that uh, the empty trees are represented as just the empty uh, two, uh, two, two matching parentheses with no data in between. No characters, rather, in between. This is the um, binary tree generator, uh, gen bin tree for n equals 0, we yield a none. Uh, for n equals 1, we just yield one binary tree node. Otherwise, we vary i from 0 to n minus 1. First, we generate recursively all of the binary uh, trees with n minus 1 minus i nodes. And then we generate uh, the right um, uh, children trees, uh, again recursively, with i nodes. and uh, for each such pair, we uh, create a tree. We yield a tree, rather. Uh, this function print paren bin trees uh, takes the number of nodes, uh, creates a binary tree generator, and then um, uh, prints out the parenthesized version of each um, a tree returned by the binary uh, uh, tree generator along with the count, the tree count, so that we can keep track of how many trees we are generating. This is the function compute, uh, uh, that computes height and uh, uh, balance factor uh, at the same time. Uh, setting It sets the balance factor of each node in the tree and uses the post order traversal. Um, call it on the left child and the right child, uh, then compute and set the height uh, of the current node. The balance factor of the current node is difference to height, and note that we return the height. And this is the AVL tree generator. It takes the number of nodes, uh, creates all of the uh, binary uh, trees with those nodes, uh, computes the balance factor, and then uh, calls the isAVL tree, checks if the balance factor is in the generated tree. Um, each generator could comply with the uh, AVL balance uh, requ requirement, and if so, the tree is yielded. And this is the isAVL uh, tree predicate. Takes a node and just goes um, uh, through um, the tree rooted at that node, make sure that all of the balance factors are correct, comply with the property, the AVL balance property. A print paren AVL trees, similar to the print paren bin trees, just uh, prints out uh, the parenthesized um, uh, versions of all the uh, AVL trees that we uh, generate. Let's uh, check our uh, print paren bin trees first. Test them out. Uh, let's comment this out just to keep things simple. In the terminal, let's clear it and um, So for n equals 0, uh, there's uh, one binary tree. For n equals 1, there's also one binary tree. For n equals 2, we have 
uh, two binary trees for n equals 3 we have uh, five uh, binary trees and then for n equals 4 we have um, 14 binary trees and for n equals uh, equal 5 we have uh, 42 so exactly as the Catalan number sequence predicted we, uh, we would okay so we comment it out and uh, go and test the AVO uh, tree generator print for n uh, AVO trees that does the same thing but it prints out only the AVO trees okay so for um, uh, n equals 1 there's only one AVO tree uh, for n equals 2 um, I got two AVO trees for n equals 3 only one for n equals 4 I got four AVO trees for n equals five, six AVO trees um, for um, n equals five, uh, uh, right? Then for n equals seven, um, seventeen AVO trees. So here's a uh, table of number of nodes and the number of AVO trees and this is a simple uh, loop that uh, you may try so for one node we have one AVO tree for two nodes two for three one AVO tree for four four AVO trees for five nodes six AVO trees four AVO trees with seven uh, uh, six nodes 17 with seven nodes 32 with eight nodes uh, 44 with nine nodes and 60 with 10 